And essentially, Glaxo has been raking it in in China. Sales were up about 20% last year. That's about four times faster than their average emerging market. And police in China say in part it's because they've been paying out bribes, even sometimes in the form of sexual favors. Now, the allegations are that executives used travel agencies as conduits to receive these bribes. They say some executives even took sexual favors and that other drug makers transferred money to the agency. They say the bribes went to government officials, hospitals, doctors, all to curry favor in totally, allegedly, nearly half a billion dollars misused. Currently, though, four GSK executives, Chinese executives, are being detained. Let's listen to one of them explaining to the Xinhua News Agency how the cost of these bribes eventually does get passed on to the price of the drug. In these businesses, I think the operation costs involved in the medicine price accounts higher than other parts after these days' self-examination because everything needs a cost, such as holding a meeting or conference, and the cost should be included into medicine price. So considering the operation costs, it accounts a little higher. Now, in response to these allegations and these interviews, GlaxoSmithKline said it is, quote, deeply concerned and disappointed. They said they are reviewing all third-party agency relationships, and, of course, they said they will cooperate with the Chinese authorities. Wow, well, Glaxo is not the only company that has been caught up in this sort of regulatory, uh, I don't drag know, dra dragnet, <laughs> you can call it from in China. Exactly. It does Part seem like a story. dragnet. There are currently four multinational drug makers who are facing probes against the authorities. We know that from a lawyer at Clifford Chance in Hong Kong who's been speaking to these companies who are seeking legal advice. I mean, I don't have to tell you, a couple weeks ago, you had a medical executive on the phone. Who oh, Chip Starnes. Chip Starnes, who was being held hostage, I believe, in China. Um, so we're really seeing broadly an effort by regulators to try to crack down on corruption. I was speaking to Jeff Jonas. He's a portfolio manager over at Cabelli Funds, and he thinks this is in part an attempt by the administration with the new leadership now in place to be shown as taking a tough stance on corruption. Also, though, an attempt to lower prices. He says, frankly, the Chinese prefer uh, local ownership, local hiring, local manufacturing.